What are you doing? Do what is this? I, I, I wrote you some letters. Did you get them? Yeah. Threw them away. Did you read them? Nope. I thought that's why you came back last night, huh? Oh, I, well, I was just trying to make a memory, that's all. Well, that's kind of hard for me to do, Dad. Because all the memories that we have together are bad. Uh, if you want some, get some ketchup. Son, I, I know that I, I did some things that I'm You did also... some things? I got a memory for you, Dad. That night you beat me so badly that I had to sleep on my stomach because I was so bruised. I couldn't move. What was I, 10? 11? Yeah, I remember that. That, uh... It tore me up. I, I cried that all night about what I did to you then. I cried too, Dad. In pain. Miss Pitcher! Uh-uh. No. What are you trying to do to me? I can't do this. I didn't even try out. You can. And you will. And there'll be no further discussion about it. No, 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 no. Look, I am a Millard. Okay, you don't understand. Millards, Millards play football. Millards do not sing. You have a gift, Bart. And in my class, you will be required to use it. Or fail. It's your choice. Look, my leg is still in a cast. I can't even walk. There's two months until the production. You have plenty of time to heal. Please stop making excuses. Okay, I don't sing like that. That Broadway stuff. I'll teach you. Look, Miss Fincher, I like you, okay? You seem like a real good person. I respect you. But there is no way, ever, at all, Ever that you were gonna get me on that stage. Mm-hmm. There's a bright golden haze on the meadow. Hey, hon. What you got there? It's a fighter helmet that I made during a big battle in space. You should have worked hard on that, didn't you? What's that? It's just, it's just drunk. It's a dream of art, and that's good. <clears throat> You're imagining things. I'm gonna teach you something, Bart. Dreams don't pay the bills. Nothing good comes from it. All it does is keep you from all this. From knowing what's real. Do you understand that? Huh? Yes, Daddy. Well, see that's a piece of junk. Why don't you just go throw it away? Just Brickle. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Um, I didn't know you were coming. Thank you. Yeah, well, I did. Merry Christmas. Uh, you know, we mostly just play uh, big shows, you know, but uh, sometimes we like to give back to, you know, smaller venues like this one. Yeah, look, Barth. Um, uh, it's Bart. Sorry. And what's the name of your band again? Uh, it's Mercy Me, you know, because when I, when I told my mama that we were starting a band, she was like, Mercy Me, you get a real job. 
And I was like, oh, Mima. <laughs> and then the guys were like, did she really say that? And I was like, yeah, we, we have to name the band. Mercy, that's what we called it. Son, the sheer volume of words that comes out of your mouth is exhausting. You're not ready. That's what I think. You got talent, you got potential. You can sing, but I don't think you found your song, found your soul, you know what I'm saying? Look, that last thing you did, that was, that was special. Next gig, you should do that the whole time, the entire show. See how that works for you. Yeah, that's not the kind of music that we sing, though. Trust me, son, you have no idea what kind of music you sing. We write our own music. We don't just do covers. Well, then write something like that, and then give me a call. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. You, you got to go with us. We got two more shows in Texas. We got plenty of room on the bus, all right? You know, you can't just change up our whole act and then abandon us, right? You don't seem like that kind of person, I can tell. I flew coach in a middle seat to rent a car that I can't even fit in to drive three hours to the middle of nowhere to have you tell me you want me to travel on that with you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> well, I need to get another job. I don't want to go on any more adventures with you. You know, I want you to know that I pray for you all the time. I do. I really do. And I hope that you find whatever it is that you're looking for out there. Thank you for the CD. Can I come in, or you want to sulk a little longer? So, you just going to quit? That it? You got a better idea? I'm tired, man. I'm, <laughs> I got nothing left. I'm going to be honest with you, like I told you I would be. Sometimes when you're up there, it's like you're singing somebody else's music. It's like a fake imitation. I don't believe it. I don't believe you. Well, this has gone from bad to worse. Thank you. But then there are times when I see something real. I see something authentic. But as soon as it shows up, it's like you're afraid and and then it vanishes just as quick as it came. And that's what makes you a puzzle to me. Let me ask you something, Bart. What are you running from? My dad. He, uh, he... He beat you, didn't he? You ain't got no poker face, kid. And I carry that. I have to live with that, you know? I always will. Then write about it. Stop running from it. Let that pain become your inspiration. And then you'll have something that people can believe in. But to do that, you've got to face your fears, son. You know, Bart, I may not always believe in your music, but I do believe in you. You sold me, kid. Don't quit. It's an amazing song. It just kind of happened. It took about 10 minutes, I guess. Bart, you didn't write this song in 10 minutes. It took a lifetime. How'd you do this? You know, I've never told anybody my story. When I was uh, 11 years old, life was tough. Where's mama? She's gone. She don't want me no more. And she don't want you neither. And I've always loved music. 
and I found some songs that I just, I held on to. They gave me hope. Mercy me, that can't be his real voice. Because I needed it. Dad, I can do this. No, you can't. And you're going to blink your eyes, and you're going to realize that life has gotten you nowhere because you chased some stupid dream. I can I'm leaving, Shan. I want you to know that I pray for you all the time. And I hope that you find whatever it is that you're looking for out there. What are you running from? My dad. Then write about it. Let that pain become your inspiration. I had some stuff I need to sort out. And I deal with it the only way I know how. And that's to write a song. You hungry? I uh, set the table. What is this? I want to make things right. <laughs> you and me. This song from my dad. I can't.